Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And today, if you can't tell already, it's my birthday. Okay guys, so everyone is starting to arrive. I've got the pink pajamas that are laid out here. The music's already started and you have to take a look at um, the view over here, look at this. So now it's time for us to get on camera. Um, so one of the things I thought of doing was to have a bit of a sleepover, matching pajamas as you can see, and have some girl chat. Now, we talk a lot. When we're together, we there's a lot of things that we talk about. And I thought I'd share some of them with you guys. <laughs> uh -oh. Some. Not all of them. Some of them. But before I do, obviously, I want to introduce you guys to my friends. But you guys can introduce yourself. Hold on, Malloy's phone's ringing. So I'm so... <laughs> Malloy's the one with the phone. Hi. Hi, I'm Malloy. I'm with the phone. I'll put it on silent. So anyway, so you've met Malloy now. And... Chloe. <laughs> Amanda. And I'm Emma. Cool. So, <laughs> all right, let's stop. So, I've said to the girls, ask me a question, and I'm going to ask them a question that we don't really know kind of what we're doing, but we're just going to wing it, right? Yeah. So, so my first question for everyone is, Ooh. how are you? Like, are you guys okay? Because <clears throat> no one ever asks that. No one ever says, like, how are you doing? We ask each other every day. Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. We do. Really? How are you? Well, we do, but you know, not in that way. But like, how are you really doing? How are you really, how are you really doing? Ooh. It's such a deep question. Really. Yeah, it, it is. is. Question. Yeah. yeah. You got me I think the deep. natural thing is to just say I'm fine. I'm fine. But it's a weird mm. time with COVID, right? Yeah. There's a lot going on, isn't there? I yeah. think I'm quite thankful for a lot of things, but it's a weird time. Mm -hmm. It's a weird time. How are you feeling, Mandy? And right now, I've got a camera in the mirror showing me for that. I don't love it. <laughs> no, um, I'm alright. Um, I mean, I'm doing okay, actually. I'm okay. <laughs> I mean, I think in this time, all we're doing is sort of like putting one foot in front of the other and just hoping and mm -hmm. just waiting to see what happens with it. It's, I'm blessed that my family and my friends are all healthy mm -hmm. and all happy. So, you know, I'm okay. Just getting on with it. Yeah. yeah. I'm okay. Um, I think I've taken this time to kind of really adjust to the speed of life that life is taking us on now. Mm -hmm. I think living in London, which is so fast paced, we're like get to get to this destination, get to this goal. Mm -hmm. But the one thing COVID has made us do is just like really strip us back and get us back to our, mm -hmm. you know, our basics. And it's made me appreciate all the kind of smaller things in life, mm -hmm. not the smaller things. The, what am I trying to say? The important things. The important things. Important. <laughs> yeah. I can I can name a million things that I can be like complaining about. I'm just just trying to hone into what's great at the moment because that's all really matters at the moment. Yeah. I think that's what's really yeah. highlighted things. Yeah. yeah. In this time. Yeah. You know, it's it's a bit of time. How much is it to have some girl time? Oh, oh, it's no, no, no. I literally oh. ran out the house. <laughs> 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 No, I found it really good. Like for me, it's just been like, I think I was struggling with a lot of creativity and I just feel like no one's ever got gotten to really know the real me. Mm -hmm. And um, I've wanted to do YouTube like for such a long time and now it's kind of like happening where I can show people like a little bit more of myself without, you know, it. the narrative. And it's so nice to actually see you. Know, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And the personality that we know, isn't it? And yeah. You get to see like a... A slice of that. Yeah, people get to see you guys and sort of like what we, you know, <laughs> my little introvert over here. So one of the things I wanted to do was ask these girls some questions and I'm going to start with Malloy. So we all know that you've been in a relationship, <laughs> you know, for a hundred years, basically, so far. since Noah built the art. Mm -hmm. So give us some tips on how to keep things spicy. Oh. oh, how to keep things spicy because you guys have been together like forever. <laughs> like, how do you do it? What's the, the, what's the secret? Well, how how do you look happy? Spicy. What's the secret? <laughs> Wait, Tell us. That's the two different questions. <laughs> spicy or together? Give us, give us both. both. Give us everything. Um, I feel like compromise is a big one. 
like learning how to back down. I'm, I'm naturally mm. quite argumentative and I always just want to fight my corner. And I'm telling you, it's taken me like all these years of us being together for me to actually kind of sit down and be like, okay, I was wrong. You know, okay, I can accept that. I, you know, that kind of compromise. Or, and the same on his, his end as well. So mm. it's a lot of like trying to find balance and um, learning to know when to win your battles. And the end goal is to just live a happy life. And then in the sauciness things of uh, the relationship. Chloe's <laughs> like, <laughs> let me get my um, notes. Let me get my notes. <laughs> um, who's going to be watching this? <laughs> no one. Your mum. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know, to be honest. About, now that sounds really lame, but I feel like we both kind of match um, each other. Sexually. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking weird way thing to say. <laughs> it was. goes to Emma. Okay. So are you, my question is, are you, I feel like you're quite fussy. And, 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 and I said, oh, and I said, oh, I even said you a lovely man oh, yesterday on Instagram. Oh, she sent me a lovely old man. <laughs> no, That's I said you're mature. You from the time of Jesus. No, oh. I said you're a lovely oh. mature man. Mature, and he was old. Okay, oh. you know what? He was mature. Okay, hold <laughs> up. Um, do you, Emma, are you open for, uh, to love? That's my question. I think yes. In my heart and my mind, mm -hmm. I would say I will articulate that yes, I am ready for love, but I know that I do things to hinder myself. Because I think I'm quite comfortable being Why single. Because mm. I think I've got quite comfortable mm. being single. Okay. Mm. But I want love. I was raised in love, like my mum and dad were married, but like really in love, like ridiculous. I think I literally, I've got comfortable being single, but that old man that you sent me yesterday, <laughs> that was a disrespect. He was a no. I, I, no. I sent, I I sent Emma, I, I'll show you after this. I sent Emma a mature man. He was old. And I actually yeah. see more and more yeah. women who are really happy going for the opposite of sort of what they normally would go for. Oh, so, oh, I found, so I did take it from 25 to 40 to 25 to 87. We're assuming oh. that because he, 87? He was old. I need to How? look at him again. I did send it really early on. <laughs> Amanda, my question to you would be, um, what do you feel like in life you um, haven't overcome yet, but would like to? Oh, it's heavy. It could it's be anyone. Probably things. self discipline isn't where I want it to be. I have spurts of it, um, and then it just goes. And I'm okay if I'm in a routine, but I would like to still have that discipline outside of a routine. Consistency in your discipline. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, consistency in my discipline. There you go. You can hear mm. me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's I that is that. it. It comes and it goes. Um, that's human. That's mm. human. I, yeah. I was thinking, I feel, I feel the we're, same. We're not, but I would just that is something that it's aspirational to me it's for okay. it to be more consistent and yeah. to you know the periods where it's on to just be longer. <laughs> you know? Oh, because yeah. we've got some stories about Amanda and her inconsistency. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So my next question goes to <laughs> Chloe. Oh, <no. laughs> so you guys, Chloe and Amanda have known each other forever and they are childhood besties. And you know, I think even with childhood besties, you may, look at them, they're worried. 
the tents. <laughs> Why didn't you trust me? You don't trust me. But I'm like, are you a different love? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. Why are you not open for love? Are you? Um, yeah, so they've known each other forever. And I feel like when it with best friends, we tell each other everything. My question for Chloe is, is there anything that Amanda, that you haven't told Amanda, is, you know, you've known each other for a long time. Well, is there anything God, well, that you can I'll be tell honest, <laughs> Amanda knows me in and out and back to front. Mm -hmm. If there was anything I hadn't told Amanda, I'm certainly not going to tell you. Ah! <laughs> okay. For free. Okay. okay. Um, but, no, honestly, Amanda, I put Amanda on the same sort of pedestal as my sister. I see them as like, they cut. I call my sister my moral compass and I feel like Amanda's kind of there as well. If, I, if I've if i got an issue, I know that Amanda is going to be there for me and I know that I can call her anytime and she's going to help me. So I know that I can tell Amanda anything about my life and she will always have my back and she'll always look after me. Um, there are a lot of things that Amanda knows about me <laughs> but nobody else in the world knows. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> she knows everything. Right, off camera we'll find out. <laughs> um, the girls, since it's my birthday, so this is a part of the birthday vibes. Um, <laughs> my noise in the back, I go, oh, I've forgotten. Um, I've asked the girls to ask me some questions. So I don't know what they are yet, so this is gonna be the first time. And I'm more nervous to hear what Emma's got to say, so I'm gonna start over this way first. <laughs> Okay. So, well, my <laughs> question was originally going to be, what's your favourite cheese? But apparently, <laughs> cheddar. apparently that's not it. Oh, American. Cheddar. Oh. American. You know, you can tell a lot American about cheese. a person by their favourite cheese. cheese. And if they say cheddar or mozzarella, you need them out of your circle. I, yeah, no. <laughs> but, <laughs> So anyway, I thought of another question. <laughs> this one's a little bit juicier. Okay. So here we go. Oh Have God. you ever yeah. set up a catfish social media account? <laughs> and if you have, what's the password and login? <laughs> no. um, so why? God, watching. Okay. So back and now All right. So Ooh. we're gonna be honest, yeah. Cause girl chat. Let's yeah, be real. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. <laughs> By the way, this has happened. No, this has No, but this hasn't happened like in years. This was Facebook. This was um, no, not Facebook. MySpace. Oh, it was MySpace no days. Way. This was MySpace days. I definitely, you know, had to do what I had to do to get the information. If he was just honest with me, then I wouldn't have to be Susie, you know, <laughs> from Leicester. I wouldn't. But he made it. But he made it that way. Whose pictures did he use? Oh, I didn't use anyone's pictures. Oh, I didn't use anyone's pictures. I normally do like you know, like a picture of an animal, like cat, dog, whatever, and just be like you know, and just play on like that. I probably did some weird. I've done some a lot of weird stuff in my yeah. early twenties, of course. We all have. We of course. Have Lister, huh? You know what? The There's been a few. Yeah, and I'm only gonna. That was a cat, wasn't it? No, because I was. A, I were only. I'm new to the cat mum thing. Oh. Okay. I was always a dog pet, like dog dog lover. I'm still both. They say I love animals. You know I love animals no, in general. Do. So Malloy, I, I mine's really rubbish now. Um, no good. But I wanted to know what was the last five items you bought off Amazon. Ooh. The last five, oh, I would know. The last five <laughs> was the lights for this lovely channel. Oh, I love the lights. I, <laughs> I got this card game uh, for tonight. Ooh. Okay, <laughs> it's called For the Girls. I've not even gone through it. I've not read anything at all because I want to be spiked more to that off camera. Pink, pink neon writing. I'm starting. Oh, you love it. Oh, I thought we liked that. So this one is <laughs> just need a whip and that's it. Um, Amanda, this one is for the girls. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay. Yeah, I was expecting a more racy Amazon purchase. I, I really don't have a racy um, one, no. So my second right. question was, um, what is the strangest pronunciation of your surname that you've ever heard? Oh, Af Lo, Buchanan, uh, wow. Buckingham, <laughs> Buckingham, Buchanan, wrong. Buchanan. Can I just say, I said to, to Ronnie today, oh, I'm, Ronnie's my son, I said, oh, I'm going to um, Keisha's birthday, he went, Keisha Buchanan. <laughs> 
Right. Literally. <laughs> it's like that. Buchanan, Buchanan. What yeah. do you say? Buchanan. I'm now on oh, Buchanan. Look, Buchanan. 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 Yeah, like can we do emphasis on the bu? Yeah. Because I'm, I'm, I'm wrong. No, I'm here. So but it's everybody no, saying it wrong. wrong. So Emma, what's your question? Emma. Okay. <laughs> I need to answer, what is the weirdest gift that you've ever got from a fan or supporter? The weirdest gift? Um, I have had boxes. I've had a lock of hair. I have had... What else have I had? Are the boxes clean? She, that's what I was going to ask. Were they I don't know. They were in a... They were like in a, a, a fan bag with like... Did you open your own fan mail? Yeah, back in the day, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so yeah, boxes, a lock of hair. Um, I kind of liked all of that though. I didn't keep Please the Please send the your boxes. <laughs> <laughs> At the time. Please don't send me the bo boxes. Yeah, like, she liked it. I did. Boxes. Because it was like, because you know for boy <laughs> bands, like back then, like people were like taking off, like, you know, their bra in front of them on stage. I'm like, no one, no one does that to girl bands. So when I got my so first little briefs off, oh, wow. were they white fronts or were they like? I remember they were just like blue and they nice. were like, I can't remember, but I wasn't like feeling them or. I wonder who's watching this now. Holla. Hi. No, 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 don't. Bother. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, after the question you asked Chloe yeah. about confessions, mm -hmm. I think I would like to ask you is there any you know, confessions? Because I feel like we're very close. I feel yeah. like, you know, you share a lot with me, but are there any confessions that, you know? What a release. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Can I hug you first? Space. It's a safe space. <laughs> yeah, it's a safe yeah. space. <laughs> and again, and again. Oh, oh, oh. oh, 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 oh. I love you. Oh, oh. oh no. Oh no. Oh, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What's going on? Okay. What so, is oh, so, oh, so I feel like something's happening. The reason I'm going to do this is because. Okay, so I just feel like it's important to always tell the truth, okay? It doesn't matter but when you do it. it, but it's important that you do it. And sometimes, you know, under pressure, you know, you mean well, but you might not always say 100% what I'm you feel. <laughs> <laughs> well. Oh my God! Okay, there's a spit of room here. Spitfire! Um, it was the three hugs that's got me a four. Okay, so basically, a couple of weeks ago, oh, um, I had um, lost uh, my mum's front door keys, oh, yeah. right? And basically, <laughs> I was really, really like, because my mum, for ages, like, she doesn't like to leave me with many things because she's like, no, you're just going to lose it. And I just managed to get her to trust me <laughs> because that's what I ever did as a teenager, <laughs> lose the keys, right? So she finally got a key to the front door. So she, she <laughs> cut me a key, but not before making me feel just like really terrible Tough, yeah. and she also put it on this bright red string mm -hmm. <laughs> where it's like you can't miss it and it was so embarrassing because i was like mom do you have to she was like no this is what you got you get because you're always scared so this was oh, so she did this sorry. and then about a week later you lost i lost it. those keys <laughs> <laughs> and so Amanda and I were trying to figure out ways in which I didn't have to confess that to her. My love, my lovely friend here was trying to like help me to, you not know, not, not, get, not, not get in lie. trouble. No, but not lie. And, and not lie, yeah. okay? Was trying to assist me in a cover up. And <laughs> basically, <laughs> I mean, and basically <laughs> it got to a point where we came up with this little uh, plan, or I came up with this plan, where we were gonna say to my mum, do you know what, mum? You know, someone somewhere should have a spare key to our house because, you know, we should, just in case we ever both get locked out, why doesn't Amanda have a key? So why don't you cut a key for Amanda? <laughs> okay, and then what we were gonna smart. do was mm. gonna take the key and that key was gonna be yeah. mine. Okay. So and we're gonna cut it again. Right, yeah, and then yeah, we're gonna cut it again, yeah. right? So as the day's going on, I keep going, oh mom, like Amanda's saying like, you know, can we cut the key? Mm. So my mom starts to get suspicious. And my mom's oh. like, my mom's like, what is this whole thing with the key? Wait, wait, wait one second. Key. No, wait. She yeah. was like, what is this thing with the key? Like, why'd you ask me about it? And basically it was like, no reason. Then we got back to her house and she was like, tell me right now, did you lose the key? And basically, oh, yeah. <laughs> I said it, Mum, it wasn't 
laugh about this whole thing is because my mum always claims that like, you're my baby like no one comes you know of course like you know you're my favorite but when I told her it was Amanda she was like oh you know I bet she's really stressed about it I bet she's been <laughs> and she was completely fine and actually <laughs> I'm sorry. sorry because I was panicked and I didn't want to get in trouble and sometimes I re reverse being a kid and I hate to like dis disappoint my mum so I did throw you under the bus but I feel like <laughs> I am saying sorry now to yeah That's so cute. yeah I'm really but sorry about that. So like, Bev, it Bev, wasn't Amanda if you're watching this. Ten Hail sorry, Mary, mom. three our fathers and you'll be forgiven. Yeah sorry <laughs> mum I lied basically I'm sorry that's my confession. <laughs> That's not too bad. It was no, it's not. She can't be trusted with a house case <laughs> at the age of 21. Imagine that. <laughs> you better know it. <laughs> so, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you to my girls who are cracking me up. Happy uh, Thank you. And uh, thank you so much for coming. You guys have made my night really special. We're going to go and enjoy ourselves now and put on some music get lively shots. and uh, <laughs> Chloe will take shots <laughs> and remember we get better not thinner mm -hmm. bye what was my question? don't know oh and what's your favourite cheese? your favourite cheese? so guys I'm gonna edit this out so I'm some big hippo leaving towards the camera <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't think people have a true reflection or perception, I should say, of the character that is Keisha. You have a strong personality. I do. <laughs> <laughs> it's a comedy show. Yeah, you're, you're funny. You're as funny Very as hell. Cool. Although, I don't know if people always, I, but sometimes I feel like my humour say something funny and it comes off, it might come off completely different, but my heart's in the right place. I don't know. No, no I think we're, we're sarcastic. Funny as hell, but full of love. Oh. I mean, like, I love you, like, you know a lot about me. And don't stop it right now! Right <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm so nervous in front of you guys. It's weird, I never take this long. <laughs>